Watersheds Canada is excited to announce a new Pug Nose Shiner landowner engagement and shoreline habitat restoration project. This project is being delivered by Quinty Conservation and Watersheds Canada. This project is generously funded by Fisheries and Oceans Canada's Habitat Stewardship Program for Aquatic Species at Risk. The goal of this project is to focus on education and actions that you as a shoreline property owner can take on your land to help protect wildlife habitat quality and availability for the pug nose shiner fish species at risk. This project will focus on some of the last remaining habitat for the pug nose shiner in the Quinty watershed. The pug nose shiner is a member of the minnow family and is listed as a species at risk. You can identify the pug nose shiner by its slender and small size, small upturned mouth and black lateral bands around the snout and chin through the eye to the front of the caudal or tail fin. This band ends with a small dark wedge shaped caudal spot. They have transparent fins and are between 50 to 60 millimeters in length. This project will help restore shorelines and the critical local habitat for the pug nose shiner and other wildlife species like turtles, fish, and aquatic invertebrates. It will run from 2020 to 2022, and it will provide many shoreline property owners in the Quinty watershed with four resources and action opportunities. First, we will be co-creating and distributing free education and stewardship materials, including informative videos, handouts, and webinars. Second, you will have the opportunity to participate in the Natural Edge shoreline renaturalizations on your property using native trees, shrubs, and wildflower species. Third, you will receive an individualized property report through the Love Your Lake program. This report will provide details on the state of your shoreline property and provide voluntary recommended actions for improving habitat for the pug nose shiner and other wildlife. Lakewide reports will also be created and available to you. Finally, aquatic invasive surveys will be conducted by Quinty Conservation staff. These findings will be available in an aquatic vegetation community report, which will include best management practices for any identified non-native invasive vegetation.